Hi friends, this is Dipti. Welcome to Life Admin 365 and welcome to another weekly meal plan and meal prep video. So let's see what I made this week. For Monday's lunch or our first meal, I made green beans, bhaji, matki, usar, pori and rice. I've already shared this lunch preparation in an earlier video called what I cooked today. So for recipe details, I'm linking that video in the description box below and in the card above. So do check that. I did receive a good suggestion when making green bean besan bhaji and that is to use ajwain and uh, sesame seeds along with him. So I'm going to definitely give it a try the next time I make green beans bhaji. Monday evening my plan was to make matki misal but I already had zucchini paratha dough remaining in my fridge so I decided to finish the dough first and make parathas from them and then make misal the following day. Once again I have shared this recipe in detail in my earlier video titled what I cooked today. It's again linked in the description box below so definitely check it out. On to Tuesday. Yesterday my friend sent in some fresh kale leaves from her home garden and I decided to use them for making today's first meal which was going to be bhajri upma. To prep the kale leaves I first de-stem the leaves from the main stem then cut them into ribbons or small pieces then lightly salted the leaves and then massaged them for good five minutes in the palm of my hands. Massaging them will remove the bitterness from the leaves and will render them slightly less bitter. Then next thing I do is saute them very lightly in olive oil and add a little bit of salt and pepper. Just saute them very lightly to maintain their vibrant green color. Transfer them from the saute pan to a container and in the same pan prepared bajri pohe. I have shared bajri pohe preparation several times earlier so I'm not sharing the detailed description of its preparation here. I'm linking the basic preparation video in the description box below and in the card above so do check that video for its basic preparation. The prepared bajri pohe I'm adding lightly salt sauteed kale leaves and then mixing them gently in and that's it. I'm enjoying this delicious meal in my patio with a side of double chocolate zucchini bread and some coffee. Yum! On to Tuesday evening. Finally made delicious zanzanit kolhapuri style misal pav for our dinner. Oh my goodness, I cannot describe how good it turned out. Guys, you do have to try this recipe. I have shared this recipe in a separate video called misal pav. Sharing that link in the description box below and in the card above. It's one of those meals that can be enjoyed at any time. So do check out that link and make yourself some zanzanit hot and spicy misal pav kolhapuri style. On to Wednesday. For today's lunch or our first meal, I made zucchini bhaji, moong dal varan, roti and rice. Started by soaking 1 cup of moong dal in about 2 or 2 and a half cups of water first thing in the morning. After soaking it for about 2 to 2 and a half hours, I rinsed the moong dal, added a little bit of water, a little bit of salt, a little bit of turmeric and a little bit of fenugreek seeds. Gave everything a good stir covered and started cooking it on medium low heat. While dal was cooking, I started prepping zucchini for zucchini bhaji. This is one of the last two zucchinis that are remaining. My friend gave me six zucchinis of which I've already finished four. Today I'm using one zucchini and later in the week I'm going to use one more zucchini to prepare another meal. Two have been in my refrigerator for about two weeks now and as you can see when I'm cutting them the seeds are starting to become much more denser than when you have fresh zucchinis. So I'm removing the central seed core to the best of my ability and then cutting each of this into smaller pieces. Checking on moong dal to see that it has cooked to the desired texture and it appears that it has so now it's time to prepare sabzi as usual preparing tadka in hot oil of custard seeds cumin seeds hing turmeric and chopped green chilies giving tadka a good mix and then adding in cubed zucchini mixing the pieces in with the tadka and sorting it for a couple of minutes after which I'm adding a little bit of salt, some garam masala, some cumin coriander powder and mixing everything once more. Then adding a little bit of cilantro for flavor and then turning off the heat and it's ready. Zucchini gets cooked quickly because of its high water content but because of the high water content it also becomes mushy. So that's why I like to cook it for a little bit longer almost to get a little bit of burnt edges so that you know it maintains some of its texture after it gets done. 
done cooking time to prepare mung varan place pot on medium heat and to it add oil when oil gets hot add in cumin seeds and hing followed by the addition of about 1 medium chopped onion and giving everything a good stir then adding in 5 finely chopped garlic cloves saute everything thoroughly and let the onions cook on medium low heat for good 2 to 3 minutes then add in slit green chilies and a little bit of chopped coriander give everything a good stir and then add in half a cup of tomato puree 1 teaspoon of cumin coriander powder and give everything a good stir cook this masala for good 3 to 4 minutes and then add in the cooked moong dal give everything a good mix and adjust the consistency with water rinse from the tomato puree container then add in some chopped cilantro give everything a good mix and bring dal to a gentle simmer while dal was simmering i quickly transferred the sabzi from its pan to a container and to the same oily masala stuck pan i added a little bit of onions and sauteed them i was trying to get all of the masala out from the pan and not let it go waste to it added leftover rice and green bean paste and bhaji from yesterday and mixed thoroughly I am giving this a fancy name and calling it masala tadka vegetable rice. Anyways, I have a few leftover ready-made store-bought chapatis that I need to finish up. So all I am doing is roasting them on this hot griddle and then serving them along with zucchini sabji and moong dal varan. For tonight's dinner, all I am doing is preparing a simple egg and beyond meat protein crumble wrap. My son is scrambling a couple of eggs on one side and I am smashing up some beyond meat plant based burger patties. While these are cooking and browning up, my son is adding a little bit of cheese to scrambled eggs and me on the other side is adding a little bit of ready made taco seasoning blend to beyond meat plant based crumbles. Once these plant based protein crumbles are seasoned well, I'm adding the scrambled eggs to it and giving everything a good stir. Finishing off these with a little bit of chopped cilantro. Assembling these wraps is very 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 easy. All you need to do is take whole wheat tortillas or whatever tortillas you want and warm them up for 30 seconds or so so that they become pliable and can be easily rolled. I haven't added any sauteed veggies because my boys don't like them, but if you like, do saute a bunch of different colored peppers along with some onions and cabbage and place them over this mixture and then tuck the ends of the burrito and make it into a wrap. My son loves making these high protein wraps and he enjoys eating them after one of his gym workouts. I and Melin on the other hand ate leftovers from the mornings which was zucchini bhaji a little bit of moong dal varan and a little bit of the tadka masala veg rice on to thursday thursday is a fasting day for me so menu for thursday's first meal is almost always the same either sabudana khichdi 99% of the time or sweet potato hash or atala chakki is that 1% of the time today i did not have any roasted peanuts to make crushed roasted peanuts so i had to start by first roasting the peanuts then cooling them off and then grinding them into coarse ground crush so basically it's just preparing tadka in ghee and adding a little bit of cumin seeds chopped green chilies cilantro little bit of salt and then cooking the potatoes on medium low heat with covered pan and then once the potatoes are almost 90% cooked then adding in the overnight soaked sabudana to it along with crushed roasted peanuts and then adjusting the taste with little bit of salt and sugar maybe lemon juice if needed garnishing it with a little bit of chopped cilantro and then turning off the heat and letting it sit on the stove for good a uh, minute or two before serving it today i am enjoying it with a little bit of potato farsan and yogurt and few cucumber slices for thursday's dinner i decided to make hanbo here i have taken two cups of store bought hanbo flour to which i have added one cup of whole milk yogurt mix the two well to ensure that there are no lumps remaining and adjust it the consistency with a little bit of water i think i used about half a cup of water then added salt per taste added a little bit more water to adjust the consistency and this batter was ready to this batter i added grated carrots half a cup grated zucchini one cup kasuri methi half 
half a cup cumin seeds 1 tablespoon sesame seeds 1 tablespoon grated ginger 1 tablespoon finely chopped green chilies 1 tablespoon and hing half a tablespoon mixing everything thoroughly to form a homogeneous mixture and letting the flavors marinate for good 20 to 30 minutes towards the end of 20 minutes i'm preheating my oven to 300 degrees fahrenheit and also greasing my baking pan so that it's ready for the batter in this time i've also adjusted the consistency of my batter and just when i'm about to bake i'm adding one teaspoon of baking soda and a little bit of lemon juice right over the baking soda and giving everything a good mix and then quickly pouring the batter into the greased baking pan and putting it in the preheated oven for baking for 60 minutes once 60 minutes of baking was done i took it out from the oven and let it cool at room temperature for another hour or so before it was ready to be cut into pieces and enjoyed i completely forgot to give tadka from the top but it tasted delicious regardless moving on to friday friday was a super duper and important day for me and so for my first meal i kept it very simple just plain oatmeal for everybody other than me i was fasting as it was shravan shukravar and i was following jivti vrat jivti mata is celebrated in maharashtra and typically maharashtran women fast for their children and prepare puran puri nevetya thali as offering to ma jivti I have already shared Puran Puri preparation in details in an earlier video. Sharing that video in the card above and in the description box below for detailed recipe of Puran Puri preparation. I've also shared a section of this video as a shorts video and I'm going to link that video also in the card above and in the description box below. So do check it out for a quick glimpse. So here is a look at everything that I made today for this thali. A dozen puran puri, potato chi bhaji or potato bhaji which is similar to dosa bhaji except that there are no onions or garlic. Then there is cucumber raita, green chutney made from fresh coconut, green chilies and cilantro. Plain dal, katachi amti which is an amti made from puran, plain poli or roti and plain rice. A couple of items not shown but get served in the thali are fried papad and yogurt and rice. Moving on to Saturday. There was plenty of leftover chutney, koshimbir and potato chip bhaji from yesterday's meal. So I used both chutney and potato chip bhaji for making sandwiches for our first meal. Packed a couple of these sandwiches for Milind to take along with him for his golf game. Finished the remaining chutney and potato chip bhaji by making some more sandwiches for my kids and myself. Saturday evening was a leisure time for me. I had a backyard party to attend at my friend's place. Our friends were amazing hosts. There was plenty of delicious food, especially homemade desserts. Kulfi, sweet pongal, shrikhan, dudhi halwa, orange burfi, cake. Oof, endless choices. I was so busy eating and catching up that I didn't take a single picture or record a single clip. This footage is courtesy of my friend who managed to capture a few wonderful moments. By the time Sunday rolled in, I was super duper tired and did not have any energy or desire to cook. I simply reheated frozen parathas and that's what we ate for both lunch and dinner. I didn't even have energy to record the reheating of the frozen parathas. So all I'm doing here is taking a clip from an earlier recording and calling it an end to this video. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you like this video, do give it a big thumbs up and share it with your family and friends. And if you haven't already subscribed, do subscribe to my channel Life Admin 365 for more meal planning, meal prepping, recipe and other home related videos. See you all in the next one.